Let me just hold this chocolate brown up to my skin tone. Honey, honey, oh my gosh, fabulous. Hello fashion lovers and welcome back to my channel. Autumn winter is upon us. So today I'm bringing you a new in fashion haul. I've acquired quite a few things from high street retailers such as Zara, H&M and other stories, Primark, Arquette, you name it, I've got it. I will also be talking through the top 10 trends for fall winter 2020 as always guys this will be a styling and try on haul so i'll be trying on all the beautiful things on the rail as well as styling things which are already in my wardrobe if you love videos like this please let me know hit that thumbs up button don't forget to hit that subscribe button also make sure you hit that notification bell so you know every time i upload without further ado let's just get straight into this new in fashion haul for fall winter 2020. So the first trend for fall winter 2020 is none other than dark browns. Oh my gosh, I love, love, love this trend. I did pick up this absolutely gorgeous two piece from Zara, balloon sleeve top. It's in this beautiful knitted material and then it cinches in at the waist. It comes with this absolutely gorgeous long midi skirt a-line it just has an elastic waistband absolutely stunning the material is so heavy this heavy knit material now you could choose to wear this cord set by itself i got both of them in a size large the top was 29.99 and the skirt was 29.99 also as I was searching through the H&M website, I also came across this absolutely gorgeous chocolate brown wool blend coat. Let me just hold this chocolate brown up to my skin tone. Honey, honey, oh my gosh, fabulous. It's very, very long, so it literally hits my ankles. It's not lined, but then you have pockets on either side and then the slit at the side as well this is a very relaxed robe style type of coat and then it just has the lapels at the top now i got mine in a size large and i believe this was around 79.99 which i don't think is too bad considering the fact that this is a wool blend coat this shade of deep brown suits every single skin tone this almost serves as a neutral which i absolutely love i will be pairing both of these together the chocolates match absolutely perfectly for my accessories i will be pairing this brown lack of color hat as well as fendi mon Tresor bucket bag and my fendi cowboy boots I absolutely love this look. You look chic, but at the same time, you look casual. So it's one of these multi-purpose outfits. What I've been trying to do with my autumn winter 2020 wardrobe is collate staple pieces, which I can pair with many, many items over and over again. I can get my cost per wear out of deep brown is a very, very good alternative to those neutrals or those blacks or those deep olive greens. Dark brown is definitely something every woman should add to their wardrobe this fall, winter 2020. Now, the second item that I have on my rail is still keeping within the chocolate brown trend, but it's also adding to the sports luxe loungewear trend. Loungewear has been a staple in everyone's wardrobe. And personally, I feel like that's one element of my wardrobe that was really really missing very casual loungewear items that still look chic i do scroll through the h&m men's section and to my surprise there was this absolutely gorgeous chocolate brown co-ord set i have the hoodie it's a gorgeous gorgeous chocolate brown size extra large and i believe this was about 29.99 and then it also comes with matching joggers so i got these in a size large and i believe these were about 25.99 they cuff at the bottom and there's a drawstring in front to style this cord i will be pairing it with the coat that you saw from h&m i 
hate being cold during autumn winter so layers 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 honey <laughs> it's all about the layering and i'm going to keep my accessories the same my fendi mon tresor and to elevate the look add it with a pair of heels i'm really really getting into the whole loungewear sports luxe trend 100 percent cotton as well quality of h&m clothing is always always on point so this is definitely definitely going to be a staple in my wardrobe for autumn winter 2020 guys the third trend for autumn winter 2020 is none other than red on red on red <laughs> now red is one of these colors you either love it or you hate it and for the longest time i did not wear red because i just feel like it's one of those colors that's really really in your face but i got these perfect tailored trousers from and other stories they have the beautiful darts at the top and then the belt loops made of 100 percent cotton and then from and other stories again i found this really really cool red turtleneck jumper i decided that i would pair these two together it might be giving Christmassy sort of vibes I'm not mad at that <laughs> again it's one of those colors that suits every single skin tone and then to top off the look to make it a more extra and a little bit more me I'm adding this gorgeous 100% wool coat that I bought from the charity shop this coat is literally my pride and joy. I absolutely love it. One trick to looking very, very expensive, as you can see from even my prior outfit, is I try to dress in one colour, head to toe. That would just make you look chic AF, chic central, hair I come. This outfit is no exception. The next trend for fall, winter 2020 is leather on leather. Now you guys would have seen in my two previous videos that I've just been into wearing black leather. I did purchase this absolutely gorgeous leather jacket from H&M. This item is so, so high in demand right now. So guys, just make sure you keep an eye on it on the H&M website and it will pop up. I got mine in a size extra large and I believe it was $129.99, which is really good considering it is 100% leather. This looks exactly like an Acne Studios jacket. I'm not even joking. The quality is like so, so good. And you have buckles at the bottom, zips at the sides. The leather is it's not smooth it's sort of grained they call it elephant leather obviously it's not actual elephant <laughs> this is one of the best things that i've bought for autumn winter 2020 so far as i've mentioned before guys i'm trying to build up my staple wardrobe i feel like that's what was definitely definitely missing an oversized black leather jacket i've absolutely fallen in love with this i showed you this shirt from Topshop again 100% leather I got mine in a UK size 14 and I literally got this for 60 pounds this is a 100% leather shirt absolutely love this and I usually pair it with my culottes from Arquette I got these about two years ago now but I absolutely love them I wear them every single autumn absolutely love them so together super super chic the next trend for fall winter 2020 are wool vests this is a trend which i myself have recently adopted i managed to pick up this gorgeous black long wool vest from h&m a size large and this was 19.99 this as you can see is extra long which i love so it comes below my bum so this is something that I would definitely wear underneath a white shirt. A white shirt, again, is another staple in my wardrobe. And then underneath, I would pair it with these pleather leggings from Primark. These are my go-to. I've literally been wearing these pleather leggings from Primark religiously for probably the past three to four years i'm not even joking these are like a staple in my wardrobe and they're really good very stretchy and i think they only cost about 12 pounds i got mine in a size 14. i will be pairing this with my beloved prada boot absolutely love leather 
leggings with these boots i've kind of stuck to the whole black and white monochromatic look just to make everything look super chic definitely a staple for fall winter 2020 and it's one of those items that you can wear again to basically every function when you are shopping in general just think to yourself how many times can i wear these items and if the answer is over and over again then go for it now sticking to the wool vest trend i wanted to show you guys this gorgeous vest that i found in primark actually it cost six pounds absolute bargain and i got mine in a size medium as you can see this one is a lot shorter than the one from h&m but for six pounds i had to pick this up and pair it with these absolutely gorgeous gray trousers from arquette and then again i'm just going to pair it with a shirt underneath i think pairing these wool vests with shirts underneath just makes the look more sophisticated or if you're going to a more formal occasion very appropriate but then again you can dress it down with this look i have decided to dress it up just to show you guys how wool vests can be dressed both up and down so i paired it with my birkin and i've also paired it with my green manolos the gray and the green just complement each other so much love it when you're looking for trousers just make sure you get very very well fitted trousers that's so important that's one thing i love about arquette trousers these are 100 percent wool so very very good fabric which will last honestly a lifetime if i don't grow fat <laughs> next trend for autumn winter 2020 are knitted bra tops brands such as kite really really made this trend blow so i personally wanted to try it out i got this beautiful knitted crop top from zara i got mine in a size large and it was 12.99 very very nice color can you see it's very neutral like a stone color so it can go with basically everything i've decided to pair this crop top with my primark knitted cardigan we love a knitted cardigan so colors are all neutral and then these come with very very nice tortoiseshell buttons pair this look with these stone wash beige shade of trousers again these are from arquette that's like my go-to place when it comes to buying trousers because the fit is just amazing we're 89 pounds which you could classify as being more pricey for high street but it's made of 100 percent wool guys like go onto any designer website they'll literally be charging you 10 times the price so i do think these are worth it i'm very very much into high quality fabrics that's another thing that can make you look very very chic very sophisticated all of these tie into a sort of neutral beige colorway timeless this is something that you can rewear over and over again because i mean neutrals never go out of style right <laughs> the next trend which i absolutely love is the preppy trend think clueless think schoolgirl vibes i saw this absolutely cute pleated black skirt it's a mixture of wool can you see the textures the mixture of textures on this skirt i saw this in h and M. I actually saw it in the sale and i had to pick it up i got it in a size 14 and it was only 14 pounds but the texture and the pleating makes this skirt look so so expensive i'm thinking balmain and it's black so it's one of those pieces i can wear over and over again so i will be pairing this skirt with this vintage jacket and shirt that i have beautiful beautiful detailing on this jacket now this jacket also ties in to the checked trend checked blazers checked jackets anything that's checked is again coming in for the trends for autumn winter 2020 just added this green shirt just to tie in with the green check on the jacket these are both vintage this was actually my mom's and this i got from a vintage store absolutely love this maybe pairing it with my prada boots just to give it some edge i love the juxtaposition of the preppy checked blazer the preppy skirt and then the contrast of the quite military style prada boots and then the classic chanel flap i just love the contrast the next trend is skirt suits in particular pleated skirt suits i thought it was very sustainable to look for items on ebay and i found this gorgeous vintage one 
absolutely cool. Look at those pleats, guys. And this is 100% wool. And I got this for £29. Absolute bargain. This is from a store called Jagger. And it says, made in Great Britain of pure new wool. To make this a bit more suit-ish, I'm going to add this black wool jacquemus jacket it cinches in at the waist and it has gorgeous gorgeous shoulders and again it's made of 100 percent wool that's the key guys when you are shopping always make sure you look at the composition of fabrics because ultimately this is what determines whether an item will stay a long time in your wardrobe or not again i'm going to be pairing this look with my prada boots trying to keep this whole black head to toe look so that this whole outfit can look chic af and i love this skirt suit trend and it's definitely something i'm going to be continuing to incorporate in my wardrobe for many 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 years to come all right guys the next trend for autumn winter 2020 is shock horror fringing <laughs> this trend is definitely one that has literally circled background for autumn winter season for the past three years like definitely a hundred percent I'm not complaining, I love the trend. I went to my local H&M. I happened to find this gorgeous jacket. It's a coat actually. It's made of 56% wool. As soon as I saw it, I beelined for it and I was just like, wow, this is gorgeous. Look at the colors on this. It has fringing all the way at the bottom of the coat and then it has fringing all along the seams of the sleeves this coat was actually part of the h&m studio collection in autumn winter 19 so can you see what i mean by the trend has circled back round? they always circle back round so never think that buying into a trend is a bad thing if you love it and if you think it will go great in your wardrobe then just do it because trends circle back round all of the time i'm literally going to pair it with this H&M oversized turtleneck that I have. Again, this is a wool composition. Now, during autumn and winter, I hate being cold. So all of my items need to have some sort of wool or cashmere blend in them. I will be pairing it again with my infamous Prada boots. I will also be pairing it with this Lueve puzzle bag. The next trend for autumn winter 2020 is pleats. This dress is from Zara. It was actually in their special prices section. You can get some really, really amazing pieces for bargains. Now, this is a dress that goes all the way to my ankle. It's made of 100% cotton. It has this gorgeous pleat detailing from the waist down. Can you see? Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous pleats. This definitely reminds me of Valentino Spring Summer 20. Absolutely gorgeous. When I saw this, on the website i actually couldn't believe that it was 19.99 keep an eye on the zara website because they keep restocking this item get your hands on it it's probably the best bargain of this season i got mine in a size double xl and it was as i keep saying 19.99 <laughs> to style this outfit i will be pairing it again with this gorgeous 100 percent brown deep brown leather belt that i bought from Zara the details of the buckle this looks exactly I'm not joking guys exactly like a Saint Laurent belt which is being sold for about 500 pounds I'm not joking it's the exact same thing when I saw this on the Zara website you already know basket thank you I got mine in a size 90 and I believe this again was only about 20 pounds the final trend for autumn winter 2020 is none other than satin skirts if you don't have a satin skirt in your wardrobe what are you doing fix your life <laughs> i got this satin skirt from zara can you see the buttons on the side this detailing is stunning and then can you see the waistband as well it has been pleated i got this in a size large and it was 59.99 from h&m i got this matching satin top now this top was only $19.99. Together, these would look so, so cute. The pleating on the sleeves of this top, again with the button detailing, it literally looks like these two were made to be a co-ord. Tuck in this shirt into 
this skirt i'm gonna wear them with my gucci sandals again it's one of these items you can choose to dress up or dress all right down. guys that is the end of my new in fashion haul for autumn winter 2020 i hope you liked all of the pieces that i got from these various high street brands let me know which look was your favorite what i did before purchasing all of these items i made a list of what i thought was necessary and missing from my autumn winter wardrobe this helped me not to buy excessively and to also buy the pieces which things that i need my staples this was something that really really helps me in my autumn winter shopping and i would definitely definitely recommend it if you love this video please give it a thumbs up <laughs> let me know in the comment section below if you would like more high street styling videos for autumn winter 2020 also guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of these amazing uploads thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video bye, -bye.